Hi everyone. I think we all faced before that we wanted a specific command in AutoCAD. So we go to the internet trying to search for this command. For example, I want a command to calculate for me total lengths for group of lines. I will start searching for something like that. I found a lot here and I will choose one. I will download this file. As you can see here that the extension for this file is .lsp. In this video, I will explain to you how to upload this file in AutoCAD by three different ways. But before we start, please press on the like button subscribe and hit the ring button to get notified when we upload a new video and now let's start the first way we are going to use the drag and the drop we will take the file and drop it in autocad like this it will promote here that you can choose one of those three options Always load, load once, don't load. Always load. When you try to do the same process again, it will not ask you. Load once, it will ask you every time when you make the same process. Don't load, it will not load the file. And I will choose load once. And to call the command, you will write tlen. We'll double check that the command is loaded. TLN. And this is the total lens. The second way we are going to use the built in command in AutoCAD. The command is upload. Inside this command, we will have two methods. To upload the Lisp file inside AutoCAD. The first method to load it from here. You can choose from the drop down list the location of the file and choose the file and click load. Same as we explained before, the always load, load once and don't load. Now we need to check that the, already the file uploaded inside AutoCAD. Give me the total lens so the Lisp working correctly inside AutoCAD. The two previous methods are not permanent, that you are going to do the same step again and again every time you open an AutoCAD drawing. But in this method, we are going to explain it will be permanent, that you will do it once and you will not do it again in any future drawing. I will click Upload. And instead of choosing the file from here, I will choose it in content in the startup suit. I will click content and I will add the file. I will click close and close. Now the file is not loaded inside the AutoCAD drawing. I need to close my AutoCAD drawing and open it again so that the file will be loaded once I open my drawing. I will wait for AutoCAD to open. After we open the drawing, I will check if the Lisp file is loaded. I will write the command. It's loaded inside AutoCAD. And if I opened any new drawing, I will find that the Lisp file also loaded inside this drawing. As you can see, we find TLN here. After you have learned this command, 
Save this video as we are going to use those methods a lot in our upcoming videos. Thanks for watching, and if you want me to explain any command, please write in the comment section below. See you in the next video.